Inflammation of the protective, covering the surface of the brain is meningitis. During meningitis pia mater is included. Meningitis most cases occur in children between 1 month and 5 years old. But it can occur at any age. Meningitis can be life-threatening it is classified as a medical emergency. Key clinical findings in meningitis in adults include fever, nuchal rigidity, inflammation of the pia mater, and headache. Additional findings may include nausea, vomiting, photophobia, sleepiness, confusion, irritability, delirium, and coma. Patients with viral meningitis may have a history of preceding systemic symptoms, for example, myalgias, fatigue, or anorexia. Key clinical findings in meningitis in infants include bulging fontanelle, paradoxic irritability, i.e., remaining quiet when stationary and crying when held, high-pitched cry, and hypotonia. Other signs include the presence of positive Koenig sign or Brzezinski sign. A person is asked to rapidly rotate the head horizontally. If this does not make the headache worse, meningitis is unlikely. Meningitis can have complications, deafness, epilepsy, hydrocephalus, or cognitive deficits, especially if not treated quickly. Risk factors for meningitis. Undernutrition, otitis media, pneumonia, immune deficiency and immunosuppression, include alcoholism, autoimmune disorders, intravenous drug abuse, IVDA, splenectomy, smoking, and crowded living conditions, military recruits and residents of college dorms, which specifically increases the risk of outbreaks of meningococcal meningitis. Meningitis may be caused a variety of bacteria, viruses and parasite but among adults, streptococcus pneumonia in Assyria. Meningitis, listeria monocytogenes are most common pathogens. Diagnosis. Increase in cerebrospinal fluid protein caused by increased vessel permeability and acute inflammation and the production of an exudate white blood cells and bacteria. Absence of bacteria does not exclude bacterial meningitis as they are only seen in 60% of cases. Prevention. Bacterial and viral meningitis are contagious, but neither is as contagious as the common cold or flu. Both can be transmitted through droplets of respiratory secretions during close contact such as kissing, sneezing or coughing on someone, but cannot be spread by only breathing the air where a person with meningitis has been. Some forms of meningitis are preventable by immunization, mumps, meningococcal, pneumococcal vaccines are effective. Viral meningitis is typically caused by enteroviruses, and is most commonly spread through fecal contamination. Short-term antibiotic prophylaxis is another method of prevention, particularly of meningococcal meningitis. Rifampicin, ciprofloxacin or ceftriaxone can reduce their risk of contracting the condition. Meningitis is potentially life-threatening and has a high mortality rate if untreated. Delay in treatment has been associated with a poorer outcome. Treatment with wide-spectrum antibiotics should not be delayed while confirmatory tests are being conducted. If meningococcal disease is suspected in primary care, guidelines recommend that benzyl penicillin be administered before transfer to hospital. Intravenous fluids should be administered if hypotension, low blood pressure, or shock are present. Mechanical ventilation may be needed if the level of consciousness is very low, or if there is evidence of respiratory failure. Empiric antibiotics third-generation cephalosporin such as cefotaxime or ceftriaxone are used. Sometimes vancomycin is used. Chloramphenicol, either alone or in combination with ampicillin, however, appears to work equally well. With appropriate treatment the risk of death in bacterial meningitis is less than 15%.